This is a shoot I did with Gemma Arterton this week. I was lucky enough to be allowed to preview the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. And you'll see in this film some of the new features on the new iPhone. Amazing. Keep walking. We've already absolutely smashed it. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Oh I can take the piss of it. <laughs> And you get lovely laughs and all that sort of stuff. That's what you're really good at, I think, is uh, just making people relax and catching those moments. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Normally yeah. I do it by making an idiot of myself. I look over the camera and I go, <laughs> yeah. I embarrass you into a reaction. Yeah. This is lovely. If we look at this, we could change our depth of field. Oh, I don't want it too out of focus. That feels about right. Gonna go into mono on this occasion because it's already quite contrasty. Bring my exposure down a bit. So we want that highlight to ping and the shadow just hit, it's kind of there. That's lovely. Could also look at reframing that slightly. And then you could make it more about her eyes. I think it's good to see some of that. Maybe it's, maybe I'll take it to there. Lovely. This is sort of, in a way, my perfect light. You've got a really thin dampening of cloud but you can still take really dramatic shots. With the HDR on these cameras, I'll be able to get these amazing clouds. Because Gemma's in wearing dark, I'm gonna darken the picture so that the black on my frame looks like the black that she's wearing, because otherwise it's too bright. Exposure button, lock it down there, there. Brilliant, amazing. This wide lens is such fun to work with. Brilliant shots. I really want that sun to break. Yeah, it's the there, look! The sun is it. literally there. Three, look at me. Two, one. The sun's on Gemma, but a lot of the background's still dark, which creates this real drama. So that's creating this beautiful light that's coming into your cheek. That's it, it's that's gone it. again. You get a little break of sun, and we've got some beautiful pictures, and it's all done again. Now I'm not shooting this in portrait mode, I'm just shooting this in normal camera. And I've got my exposure in a way that I've got some detail in the shadow. So that's where we would be, yeah. probably. With the, it's so black that the camera would try and make it a grey. And we're adjusting our exposure and bringing it all the way down here. So basically we have two sets of controls now. Up here you can either change from video, photo, portrait. And once you've decided what you're going to do, you can, you've then got another set of controls here. So you go to your exposure. You change it like that. That's amazing. 